Hello and welcome to your weekend edition of E-Prime. I am Daydran. Now the Shengyangs are more than happy going into the weekend as Shenxia announced that two international collaborations will be dropping today and so they did. Now fans woke up this morning to Obsessed with Calvin Harris where she and Charlie Puth are featured. A second, a fiery Afrobeat song called Diana from Nigerian pop star Fireboy DML and US pop superstar Chris Brown. The mainstream artist's collaborations comes after Shensia got her first MTV Video Music Award nod for the single Are You That? A single from her debut album Alpha that features 21 Savage. Shensia was also named MTV's Global Push Artist of the Month in March. Now, Bro Today announces upcoming tour. The Indignation Artist shared with fans yesterday that Jesse Royal and Leela Iker also scheduled to hit the road for the Lost in Time tour. The reggae revival singers are set to visit cities across the U.S. this September to October. Pro Today is currently on a club tour in Europe. There's no stopping the dance flavor of voicemail. The duo teamed up with Terror 3000 and the Ballers for Back to Fun. Get back to the fun, yo. Everybody, everybody, uh, everybody be a movie. Craig from voicemail shared with E-Prime the thinking behind the track. We've been talking about um, it's going to be a dancing summer a couple months back based on how we see everything was, you know, taking place in the streets. You know, um, it's been a while since, you know, voicemail enter back that arena, which, you know, it's pretty much our playground, one of our favorite places to be, which is the arena. So I thought it was a remarkable idea. The idea was Elf, you know, just link up, got it done, you know, with him and the ballers and... You know, we, we always have a great working relationship from where the time is. Now on to the international scene where No Woman No Cry by Thames has hit number one on the Billboard World Digital Song Chart. The song also debuted number seven on the Billboard Afrobeats chart. The Nigerian singer's rendition of Bob Marley's highly awarded hit single is the soundtrack for the much-anticipated Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie. Now this weekend, Jamaica is set to celebrate independence with two days of events. The anticipation is building for the Grand Gala at the National Stadium on Saturday with a heavily promoted First in Jamaica drone show, guest performances and the Icon Award. Culture Minister Olivia Grange shared some details with E-Prime. On the 6th, in the National Stadium, which is Independence Day, we are going to have one of the most spectacular celebrations we've ever had. I just want everyone to come out and those who can't get into the stadium because of the, the space, they can watch it on television, they can watch it on social media and it's going to be streamed right across the world. Patrons 18 years and older can continue to celebrate at Fame Frequency, the official after party at Mandela Park. See you out this weekend. Happy Independence, Jamaica. I'm Daydran. Thank you for watching. Be safe.